and welcome back to our live coverage from the practice course. Joey Brander here with you. All tournament long, we have John Isner, the top-ranked American in the world practicing here. He had a tremendous five-set victory over Jerry last night, 6-4 in the fifth set. 6-7, 6-4, 3-6, 7-6, 6-4. The victory for Isner coming back from down two sets to one in the incredibly hot conditions. Isner, the number 11 seed in the tournament. Career high ranking came just a couple of weeks ago when he got up to number eight in the world. He, of course, reached the semifinals of Wimbledon this year, where he fell to Kevin Anderson in a five-set battle. Anderson, of course, losing a Novak Djokovic in the final. Isner's best appearance here at the U.S. Open came in 2011 when he reached the quarterfinals. Isner lost to Andy Murray in four sets in that quarterfinal, a tournament that was eventually won by Novak Djokovic over Rafa in the final. Isner, of course, coming in at just under six foot 11, one of the tallest players in tennis history. He's playing alongside another former pro, American Justin Gimmelstab. Gimmelstab, formerly a top 70 in the world player. Isner, of course, one of the players on tour that played college tennis as well. Played at the University of Georgia, was a national champion, one of the great college players in recent memory. Made his U.S. Open debut in 2007, did John Isner. In his very first match in the Open, he defeated the 26 seed Yarko Niemanen before eventually losing in the third round to eventual champion Roger Federer. First broke into the top 100 in the world in 2008. Following year broke inside the top 50 in 2009. Won his first ATP title in 2010 and of course that was the year when he had Quite a performance in the championships at Wimbledon. We all remember the match against Nicholas Mahu, 70-68 in the final set. Isner winning, not the longest match in tennis history over 11 hours over the course of three days. Isner broke into the top 10 in 2010, or 2012, I should say. It's also when he reached his first Masters 1000 final. Isner still looking for more success in Grand Slams, but he had a major breakthrough earlier this year when he won the Miami Open, not a Masters 1000. He defeated the number four seed in this year's Open, Sasha Zverev, the young German in the final. Isner dropped the first set, but was able to win the next two, four and four. That arguably the biggest win to date for John Isner. Isner hoping that this tournament can be the Grand Slam where he finally breaks through and makes his first Grand Slam Finals appearance. Isner, 33 years old, originally from Greensboro, North Carolina. Of course, has also had some fabulous Davis Cup ties as a member of the United States team. 
the big serving of Merrick and loves the hard court. We hope for a strong performance from John throughout the rest of the tournament. Take you around the grounds in Arthur Ashe Stadium, Angelique Kerber has a match point of 6-2-5-3 against Larson from Sweden. Sasha Zverev just started his match in Louis Armstrong Stadium against Nicholas Mahu. Fabio Fognini split sets with Millman, the Australian. They're just starting the third set. The 13 seed Diego Schwartzman just began his match on court 13. And a little bit of trouble right now for Nick Kyrgios. The number 30 seeded Aussie lost the first set and is down two breaks in the second set. Kyrgios could get down two sets to love very quickly and we'll see if he is able to fight back and recover, he could be on a collision course with Roger Federer, should he be able to come back and win this match. The two of them could face off in the third round. Isner will play in the third round tomorrow against Lajovic. And we'll hope to qualify for the round of 16. Isner warming up some serve, showing that big serve that we're so used to seeing now on the tour. Consistently one of the top among most total aces on the tour. Isner using every inch of his nearly six foot eleven frame to power through the ball and drive it into the court. Bisner's also become a much better mover as he's matured on the tour. Let us know in the comments how you think John Isner will fare in this year's Open. Isner leading the charge for the Americans in this year's Open, especially now with Jack Sock being upset yesterday evening in Louis Armstrong Stadium in four sets. Isner hoping to turn the tides for the American men in this Open. Of course, it's been a while since we've had an American man win the U.S. Open men's single side. The last one came in 2003 when Andy Roddick captured his Grand Slam title, defeating Juan Carlos Ferrero in that final. Of course, the opposite is the case for the American women with quite a dominant era of American women. Last year, we had four American semifinalists in the women's draw. Venus Williams, Sloane Stevens, Madison Keys, and Coco Vandeweghe. Of course, Madison and Sloane facing off in the final with Sloane winning her first Grand Slam title. She pulled through to a tough victory yesterday in Arthur Ashe Stadium. Sean's in the comments saying Isner is one of my favorite players. One comment saying hello from Nigeria. Thanks for joining us. Joe Ahar saying, hi, Isner. This is Joe Ahar from India. All the best in the third round. Keep up the momentum. We'll, we'll certainly pass that message along to John for you. And uh, thanks for joining us from all around the world. Isner so tall, of course, almost hitting down on the ball as he serves. Isner nodding his head, pleased with the way he's serving the ball. Of course, so reliant on those serves to get on offense early in the point. Isner at his best when the points are 
shorter and he can play first strike tennis, a big serve and a big forehand to end the point. That'll do it for our coverage of John Isner's practice, the number 11 seed with a big five set victory yesterday and practicing for his third round battle tomorrow. Stay tuned with us. We'll be back in just a couple hours, 6.30 p.m. Eastern with live coverage of Maria Sharapova, Caroline Wozniacki, and more from the practice courts as they prepare for their matchups to come. Make sure you stay tuned. Joey Brander with you all tournament long. We'll be back.